formation of sodium chloride. To understand the formation of sodium chloride, first let's look into the structure of sodium. Sodium has got a symbol Na and its atomic number is 11. Hence its electronic configuration, what you mean by electronic configuration is the distribution of its electrons. So we have three sheds K, L, M. Two electrons are in the first shell, eight electrons in the second shell, that makes it 10, 2 plus 8, 10, and one electron in the M shell. So sodium has got three shells. The first is called the K shell, then we have the L shell and the M shell. In the first sh shell, we say it has got two electrons. So here you have one one, two electrons. In the second shell, it has got eight electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in the last shell, it has got just one electron. The last shell is called the valence shell. Now, the last shell is not satisfied because it has just one electron. It has to have eight electrons. So what does sodium do? Sodium prefers to give out this one electron and lose the outermost shell. So here is the one electron and now we get something called the sodium ion. Now why an ion? Inside the nucleus you will have electron 11 protons because the nucleus hasn't lost anything so you have 11 protons but on the outside it has lost one electron so now it has just 10 electrons now we know the protons give a positive charge and the electrons give a negative charge so minus 10 so the net charge on this is plus 1 that's why we call it a sodium ion Na plus 1. So to repeat again, the sodium always tends to lose one electron. Now when it comes to chlorine atom, it is represented as Cl and the atomic number of chlorine is 17. So the electronic configuration is 2, 8, that is 10. Remember it is 17. So 2, 8, 7. So you have the in the K shell 2 electrons, L shell 8 electrons, M shell 7 electrons. So here is the chlorine atom with 3 shells, K, L and M. And we have seen in the first shell it has got two electrons. Then in the second shell it has got eight electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. And in the last M shell it has got seven electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's examine the M shell which is a valence shell. In the M shell it has just seven electrons. This is your valence shell. S having seven electrons is highly unstable. So the chlorine tries to attain stability by getting eight electrons. That's an octate state. So the only way it does could do that is if it could only accept one electron from any other atom now it would have eight electrons in the outermost shell and become stable. But what's going to happen to its charge? Inside there are 17 protons plus 17 protons and on the outside it has accepted one electron. So it is 18 electrons. 
So the net charge here will be plus 17 from the protons, minus 18 from the electrons, minus 1. So after chlorine accepts one electron, it becomes a chlorine ion with minus 1 charge. So now when the sodium atom comes close to a chlorine atom, this valence electron of sodium is lost and chlorine readily accepts this electron. So you can see here the chlorine is readily accepting. So now the sodium forms sodium ion because it has lost an electron plus and the chlorine forms the chloride ion which is minus 1 because it has accepted this extra electron. So when you have now these two ions, the positive chlorine and the, the positive sodium and the negative chlorine, they come together and they are held by a strong force of attraction, uh, electrostatic force of attraction, thus giving us the formation of sodium chloride. So sodium chloride is made up of positive ions of sodium and negative ions of chlorine held together by a electrostatic force of attraction. So now if we were to write the equations involving the formation of sodium chloride, this is what you would write. So sodium configuration 2, 8, 1 and sodium loses an electron to form a sodium ion plus one electron. So this is 2, 8. You write this is sodium cation. On the other hand, we have now chlorine. And uh, chlorine, we know the configuration of chlorine is 2, 8, 7. And it accepts one electron to form a chloride ion that is 2, 8, 8 and we call this a chloride anion. It's negatively charged. So when sodium with its one electron comes close to chlorine with the seven electrons, there is a transfer of electrons taking place. And then we get sodium positive with the chlorine having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and the 8th electron which is carrying a negative charge. Thus we get sodium chloride. Formation of magnesium oxide. Now magnesium has got a symbol Mg and the atomic number of magnesium, what is atomic number? Number of protons is 12. So the electronic configuration of magnesium will be 2, 8, the 2 and 8 becomes 10 and 2. So you have now 3 shells here, the K, L and the M shell, 2 electrons in the outermost shell. So here the magnesium atom with its 3 shells, K, L and M. Now for the electrons in the first shell there are 2 electrons, so we have 1, 2 electrons. In the next shell, we have 8 electrons, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 electrons, absolutely satisfied octate state and this is 2 electrons in the outermost shell. So the valence shell is an M shell with 2 electrons. Now this is not stable because it has just 2 electrons in the outermost shell. So what does... Um, magnesium do? Magnesium loses these two electrons and hence it loses its outermost shell. It loses its M shell. Now the outermost shell 
is a L shell and it is absolutely stable and the magnesium ion this is a magnesium ion to be more specific it is a cation now what will be its charge inside it has got 12 protons because it had 12 electrons so in the nucleus you have 12 protons but now outside you don't have 12 electrons you just have 10 electrons because two have been lost so the net charge will be plus 12 minus 10 so net charge is plus 2 so this has got cation we write it magnesium with a charge plus 2 Remember the atoms lose or gain electrons. The main motive is to make the outermost shell octate, stable. Now when it comes to chlorine, we already have done chlorine, so I'll go quickly to it. The symbol is Cl, atomic number of chlorine is 17 and the electronic configuration is 2, 8, that is 10, plus 7, 17. So it is K, L, M. So here are three shells again, the K, L and the M shell. In the first shell you see there are two electrons. In the L shell there are eight. And in the last shell there are seven. So when you observe the last shell, there is one electron less. The last shell is not stable. The valence shell is not stable. So what does chlorine do? It accepts one electron. So if there is any other atom that is ready to uh, give an electron, it will accept this electron. Now on accepting the electron, chlorine now forms the chloride ion. And to be specific, it forms the anion because it has accepted an electron. So inside the chlorine nucleus, you have 17 protons. So it's a plus 17 protons. And outside, you no longer have 17 electrons, but you have now 18 electrons. Which it has accepted one. So the net charge, plus 17. And this would be minus because it's electrons, negative. So minus 18 minus 1 so chloride we write chloride minus 1 so chlorine always tends to accept electrons and always non metals accept electrons this is the formation of magnesium chloride and tgu not magnesium oxide so this is mgcl2 so here's a picture of magnesium chloride. Now remember magnesium chloride had two valence electrons. So here is one valence electron and the other valence electron. And it has to give out two electrons. And chlorine needs only one electron. So magnesium chloride has got two electrons available to be given out. And uh, we said chlorine requires only one. So there will be one chlorine atom and one chlorine. So it can satisfy two chlorine. It will give one to one chlorine and the other electron to the other chlorine. Thus we will get here this magnesium transfers one electron to one chlorine and the other electron to the other chlorine. And hence we get MgCl2. To explain it once again, so we have magnesium with its two valence electrons. It gives each one to two chlorines. So here it gives you these two chlorines. So now we get magnesium plus two. And why is it plus two? Because it has given out two electrons. And there are two, it satisfies two chlorine ions. So we have Mg plus 2 and 2 chlorine negative ions are formed. Hence we have MgCl2. So now to write the equations, you first write magnesium which is 2, 8, 
2, it gives out electrons to, fi to form a magnesium anion, uh, cation, plus 2 electrons. So this is 2, 8. This is a magnesium cation. And then for chlorine, one chlorine atom, which is 2, 8, 7, accepts one electron, just needs one electron, to form a chloride anion, which is 2, 8, 8. So this is called a chloride anion. So when magnesium, we write here magnesium, with its two electrons, comes close to two chlo chlorine atoms. We have one, two, three, four, seven, and another chlorine with another seven. There is a transfer of electrons taking place. One electron will go here, and the other one will be shared by the other chlorine. And then we get Mg plus 2. Why plus 2? It has lost 2 electrons. However, the chlorine have gained the electrons. So you have chlorine here. And uh, the electrons here for chlorine will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and one of the magnesium. But there are two such chlorine. So you will put here two. And the charge, however, here also will be minus two because each chlorine has got one negative charge. We have two chlorines. And we get the formation of magnesium chloride. Well, let's go ahead and see the formation of sodium oxide. And we follow the same steps. First we write sodium. Na and sodium we know now is 2, 8, 1. And it loses one electron and becomes 2, 8, gets a positive charge, one electron. So this is sodium cation. And when it comes to oxygen, oxygen. The configuration of oxygen is 2, 6. So the L shell has just got two electrons. It requires two more. So oxygen will accept two electrons and then it forms an ion, forms a negative charge because it accepts electrons. So 2, 8. This is ox oxide anion. So during the formation of sodium oxide, you have one sodium and another sodium, each having their valence electrons, extra electrons, and you have oxygen, you have one oxygen, which has got, in the outermost orbit, it has got six electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, and is ready to accept the electrons from sodium. So now you will now have Na, Na with no, with plus one, plus one because they have lost their electrons and you have oxygen now with a full shell, one, two, three, four, five, six and these two which it have come from sodium. So it's got, it's got eight electrons in the outermost orbit. So it will be sodium plus 1 with 2 ions and the oxygen here with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 carrying a negative charge, minus 2 because it has accepted 2 electrons. We have here sodium oxide. Now for the formation of magnesium oxide. So let's go and take up the magnesium atom. Magnesium atom we've already done. It is 2, 8, 2. So it gives out, it will give out two electrons. 
So, you have a magnesium ion that is 2, 8 and this is plus 2 because it has given out 2 electrons. This is magnesium cation, positively charged. Now, for oxygen, oxygen to 6, it has got 6 electrons in the outermost orbit. It is ready to accept 2, so it accepts 2 electrons to form oxygen minus 2 because it is accepting 2 electrons. It is 2, 8 and this is the oxide anion. So, when now magnesium comes close to oxygen, what happens is these two at electrons of magnesium which it wants to give away and remember oxygen has got six of them are both accepted by oxygen because oxygen requires two and then we get mg plus two because it has lost two electrons and the oxygen now is one two three four five six with these two extra electrons. So, the charge becomes mg plus 2 and oxygen minus 2 because it has accepted 2 electrons. So, we have mgo.